Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right through it. Let's talk about these damn games. These godforsaken games. We're going to go right through this. This one, it ended the way I thought it would. Like I said, if Donovan Mitchell ain't playing, <clears throat> they're going to lose the game. <clears throat> and boy, did they. They didn't even show much of an effort for our last game. A sweeping game, a game to send you home. You lose by 15 points. You couldn't even make it a single-digit game. Now, I get it. You're missing your best player. But then Garland had a chance to show what he got. And he gives you 11 points. Max Struess outplayed him. Evan Mobley showed up. Okoro didn't show up. And Karis LeVert did not play. So Donovan Mitchell didn't play. Karis LeVert didn't play. And Jonathan Allen did not play. So three of your better players. God! So they had no shot, and I called this out. I said if these guys ain't playing, they don't, don't matter what they do, they ain't going to get by this team. There's just too much to overcome. They, have, they made 13 threes. They shot well. They only made 38 field goals. That's not enough. And only 12 free throws and made nine. That's just not enough. And missing all those players. This was an easy game for me to call. There was nothing much to talk about here. Tatum gave you 25. Horford gave you 22. That's a problem. Letting Al Horford get off like that. You should be ashamed of yourself. Drew Holiday, 13. Derek White drops another 18. Drew gave you four three-pointers. Al Horford, you let them, you let him drop six threes. He took 13 three-point shots, guys. So he knew the magnets were on. He knew them balls were going right through the basket no matter what he did. And then you had 11 from Pritchard. You didn't really need much from this team. They handled their business. They took care of a lesser team. Missing three starters. Not much to talk about. Let's go right to the next game. The Mavericks game. I also picked the Mavericks to win this one. Just because I think it's all about the star power. And lo and behold, they were able to hold P.J. Washington under 20 points. Oh my God, stop the presses. P.J. Washington, a bum of the highest order. A person as dumb as a fire hydrant was finally left to 10 points. I couldn't believe it. He was holding, dropping 30 points every single game. Now finally, he came back down to earth. Finally, they show a moniker of effort. But it meant nothing because Luka dropped 31 on your forehead. And Kyrie only gave you 12. But Kyrie did a lot of things that doesn't show up on the stats. Like setting guys up in the right spot for their good shots. That is never going to show up unless it's a straight assist, which he, which he doesn't always get, leading straight to a basket. But if a lot of his passes should count as assists, but they just don't statistically. Gafford gave you nine points, seven rebounds. P.J. Washington, he gave you a double-double. So P.J. Washington, he seems to be the X factor for this team. If he plays well, it seems like this team plays well and wins. When he doesn't play well, looks like they lose. Am I saying that P.J. Washington is in the second come Michael Jordan? Not for a minute. But it seems like he's a matchup problem for this team. If you look at the bench, Lively gave you 11. He's a tough guy that gives you a lot of energy. A lot of stats that don't show up on the stat sheet. Him and Kyrie do a lot of that stuff. Tim Hardaway, you should you should expect more of out of him, but I get it. Only five points. Luka just went off and handled his business. They had no answer for him. They had they made ten threes, only took thirteen. Or oh, excuse me, they only made ten free throws and only took thirteen. They they got to do better with that. They're gonna lose next game if they don't handle their business. They took thirty five three point shots. That's a lot of shots to be taken. They made fourteen of them. 40%, that's about where you want to be, though. A lot of three-point shots, and that's why it relates to not a lot of free throws because you ain't being aggressive enough. They can't sustain this. And they only made 40 shots as a team, took 76 shots. That's a lot of shots. But look at this. The Thunder took 87 shots, even more than them, but only made 37 of them and only made 10 threes and took 40 three-point shots and only took 10 free throws. So both of these teams... We're just shooting threes the entire time. And the Mavericks only made three more or two more than them. So 
they both teams did not shoot that well at three point land. Actually, they made four three, 14 three point shots, I think. Where is it? Yep, they made 14 to their 10. So that's another 12. So they won right there. That's the game right there, guys. Those four three point shots is the difference in the game. If you look at the score, they won by 12. And four three point shots equals 12 points. So basically, the Mavericks. They need to be contained on the three-point line. If the Thunder can hold them off and keep them from making those shots, they should be able to win game six, which I think they will anyway because they want this to go seven games. They want this to go seven games, and they want the Denver series to go seven games. I don't know about the other one, but definitely these three or these two right here. But we'll see if they force three games into seven games. I wouldn't be surprised. We've seen a lot weirder shit than that. Home green only gives you 13 and only four rebounds. That's putrid. Williams, 12. Shaw gives you another 30. So basically it's Shaw, and that's it. He needs another star over there to help him. So if the Thunder, basically the Thunder can say, all right, we'll let Shaw beat us and no one else beat us. And that you can't win that way with one guy. You need people to help out. So if they're going to let Shaw go off and just cover everyone else, they're going to handle their business. But the problem is, if you let Shaw get off and everyone else get off, that's where the problem lies. But as long as they can not let that happen, them and anyone else that faces them is going to be all right. So look for the Thunder to try to pick up one more superstar to help Shaw. Otherwise, they're going to be in the same predicament next year. All right, let's pick the game for the night. We got Denver versus Minnesota. Minnesota's favored by two. I always thought this was going to go seven games. I would be surprised if they don't force this into seven. But then again, I wouldn't be surprised because Denver is the defending champ, so they might just want him to win it again. So Jokic is the best player. So who knows how they want to play this shit. So this is basically going to be a guess right here. I'm guessing that they want this to go seven games and let Denver win it in seven just to keep us watching a little bit longer. Just to have our uh, emotions pulled on the strings just a little bit harder. And they're going to keep pulling on them all the way through the end. Right to the finals. You better believe it. So, which is why I'm going to pick Minnesota to win tonight. They're going to be at home. They got to handle their business. If they don't win tonight, everything I said the first two games was all bullshit. I really hope it isn't. Because I am dying to see a second coming of Michael Jordan the right way. I really would. It would be such a nice sight and it would be really nice to see. But I just don't know if it's ready yet. I don't know if it's going to come into fruition. We might just have to wait another year or two. They might let Jokic win another couple championships. Then he let him get in his 30s. And then by then, this young gentleman will be about 25, 26. And then he could take over the league. But who knows? Maybe they let him do it now. We're just going to have to wait and see. But for tonight, I'm picking Minnesota. And I'm sticking with that. If they lose, oh well. There's still tomorrow. And we're going to talk about the Knicks game tomorrow, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.